In this video, we'll get you set up with a new 1Password account. Let's get started. Head over to onepassword.com and pick the plan that best suits your needs. If it's just for you, go for the individual plan. But if you're considering sharing with friends or family, the family's plan is your best option. You'll be prompted to download the OnePassword browser extension. The extension is what lets OnePassword automatically save and enter logins and other types of information for you right in your web browser. Once you've downloaded the extension, it'll ask you to fill out your name and email address. You can tick this box to receive helpful 1Password tips, including more videos like this one. You can always opt out later. Either way, we'll send you a code to verify your email address. So check your inbox for that code and enter it in to proceed. 1Password takes your security very seriously, and we have a sophisticated approach to protecting your data and your privacy. It relies on two keys that work together to secure your data. The first key is your account password. This is the one password you'll need to memorize, so keep that in mind as you create one in this step. You'll use it to unlock the app or extension and access everything you need on all your devices. To protect your privacy, we never see or store this password. That means there's no way for us to retrieve or reset it for you so make sure you choose something you'll remember. Next, enter your payment information so you can continue using your account after your free trial period. To finish creating your account, we'll generate the second key that protects your data. It's called the secret key, and it's created for you automatically on your device. Behind the scenes, the secret key is combined with your account password to strengthen the encryption that protects your information. You don't have to memorize your secret key, but you do have to keep a copy of it somewhere safe. You'll need it anytime you want to sign into one password on a new device for the first time. Like your account password, we never see or store your secret key, so it's very important not to lose it. To make it easier to keep track of, we include the secret key in your emergency kit, a document you can use to store all the information you need to sign into your account. If you signed up for a 1Password Families plan, the setup process will prompt you to invite any additional people you'd like to have in your account. Enter their email addresses and they'll receive an invitation to join your account, including instructions on how to get started. If you prefer, you can wait until after setup and invite people later from any of the 1Password apps or from 1Password.com. Each person gets their own 1Password account, complete with account password and secret key, that they can use privately. But your 1Password Families plan makes it easy to share information with one another if you choose to. You can download the 1Password browser extension for Safari, Chrome, Firefox, and pretty much any other browser you'd like to use. When you do, we'll walk you through the basics of using 1Password so you can learn how it works and experience the magic of creating, saving, and automatically filling strong passwords quickly and securely. We'll even toss in some helpful tips to help you make the most of your account. In addition to the browser extension, we have apps for Mac, Windows, and Linux, as well as iOS and Android. We recommend downloading the desktop app and the mobile app to make sure you have easy access to your information wherever you need it. Plus, adding additional devices can help you in case you lose access to one of them, or if you get signed out. Our apps also help you take advantage of additional security preferences, like signing in with biometrics. And when you unlock the 1Password desktop app, we'll also unlock the 1Password browser extension for you automatically. If you already have passwords stored somewhere else, you can import them in a few easy steps. Using the 1Password desktop app, select Import to bring up the password import tool. Choose where you want to import your passwords from, then follow the on-screen instructions to bring everything in securely. If you prefer, you can also run the import tool from onepassword.com. When you're finished, all your old passwords will be waiting for you in your account. If you used to store your secrets in a notebook, or maybe you just memorized them, that's okay too. You can easily add all kinds of information to 1Password. 
From passwords to credit cards to secure notes and documents, passports, medical records, software licenses. Seriously, it's a lot of stuff. We recommend setting aside some time to pull everything in and make sure nothing gets left behind. All the information you store in 1Password lives inside one or more vaults. A vault is a secure container for all your data. You'll start with everything stored in a single private vault. With a 1Password Families plan, each person gets their own private vault, but we also create a shared vault for you too. You can use it for anything you want the others in your account to have access to. People like to put things like home Wi-Fi credentials and shared accounts in there, but you can use your vaults in all sorts of ways. You can create as many private and shared vaults as you want and use them to organize your items however you like. For instance, you could make shared vaults for different groups of people or for different use cases like banking or shopping. With vaults, you have the flexibility to save, organize and share or not share as you see fit. 1Password gives you a couple of different options for sharing things securely with others. If you have a 1Password Families plan, you can move items from a private vault to one that you share with others. For example, from your individual vault into one that's shared with a partner or roommate. But no matter what 1Password plan you're on, you can also temporarily share individual items with anyone, even if they don't use 1Password. To do this, you can create secure links right from the app. First, open the item you'd like to make a link for in the 1Password app on any of your devices, then select the share icon. Here, you can control when the link expires and who can open it. When setting up the link to share with specific people, just start typing their name and 1Password will provide suggestions based on other members of your account or emails of people you've made links for in the past. You can also choose how many times the link can be viewed and when it expires. Once you've picked your settings, copy the link and you're ready to share. One password makes logging into your account simple by saving your credentials and automatically filling out sign-in forms for you. When you visit a website that you have a saved login for, one password makes sure the website's legit, then automatically enters your username and password for you. If you don't have your login for a website saved in one password yet, type your username and password to sign in and the one password browser extension will offer to save those credentials. The next time you're signing in, 1Password will fill those fields and sign you in automatically. And when you create a new account for a website, you'll be prompted to save that login information in 1Password, so it's ready to use across all your devices. But Autofill can actually handle more than just usernames and passwords. You can also securely store and fill two-factor authentication codes, contact information, including names and addresses, and credit card details. Whenever possible, 1Password will automatically step through multi-page sign-in forms for you. With 1Password, you can surf, shop, and get things done without security slowing you down.